going on wrestling family welcome back to the channel so tony khan has taken it upon himself once again to go online go crazy and make a fool of himself and i don't understand why he puts the energy or the time into wrestling with these trolls online but for some reason it's in his dna he can't resist the opportunity now before we get into this hit the subscribe button help me on my goal to 10k subscribers baby we right around the corner let's get into this Tony Khan went on Twitter and embarrassed himself and AEW again. <laughs> on last night's episode of Raw, Jinder Mahal was featured in a promo with Seth Rollins and the WWE announced a title match next week between the two. And Tony Khan, for some reason, got upset with this because fans have been roasting the fact that Hook is challenging Samoa Joe for the world title because he doesn't seem like a threat or a real challenger for that belt or that he doesn't deserve it. And this is what Khan said defending his product. A double standard, Hook has a 28-1 and career record on a win streak and he calls out the champ, a logical challenge spark online oh God, outrage Khan, gender has literally lost every single match he's been in for the past year immediately gets a title shot where is the rage tony what Khan is also he responded to a tweet from wait the before we get into this let's go back to that tweet man first and foremost i would like to start off where he said where is the rage tony khan good sir i would like to invite you to go on your music streaming platform i don't care if it's spotify apple music or youtube music and look up the theme song to damage control. That'll tell you exactly where the rage is, okay? But in all seriousness, Tony Khan has a point here. He does have a point. For Jinder Mahal to be losing for an entire year and then pop up out of nowhere and have a match against Seth Rollins for the title, it doesn't make sense. I'm not going to... Do I have a problem with it? Am I mad at it? No, but he's right. It doesn't make any sense at all. And I, I know a lot of people would like to pin it back to their... I think their match in NXT when they had the tournament and they had the, uh, the match for the inaugural NXT Championship belt. But I feel like this, unless they specifically talk about that match in this feud right now, we can't just take every match that happened in the past and just pin it together. It doesn't always, just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it should happen right now. And the thing is with Jinder Mahal as well, for people who hated him for his title run because they felt like it came out of nowhere and he got an opportunity that he shouldn't have, they probably are going to have, I guess, a reminder of that from this situation because there really was no buildup for this. Now, I do agree that he's not going to win the title, but the idea that he got another shot that he doesn't deserve, I think that's going to give people another bad taste in their mouth. But overall, I don't think too hard about a lot of this stuff. As long as it's entertaining, that's all I care about. I don't want to go too crazy. Let's not do this all the time, but it is what it is. Now, let's get into Tony Khan, okay? So the problem that I have with Tony Khan, especially with the sweep, for one, he didn't have to put that paragraph in there about Jinder Mahal, nor did he have to put the double standard in there. All he had to do is to leave the part about Hook in there. As a matter of fact, speaking of Hook, he could have let Hook tweet this out. He could have let Samoa Joe tweet this out. He could have let any of the wrestlers tweet this out. He didn't have to tweet this out, but since he did, he didn't have to include anything but the streak that uh, Hook has in his record to justify him challenging Samoa Joe. And if people don't feel like that's enough, you could just say, hey, if that's not enough to justify his match, come watch us on AEW on TNT so you can get more information about how that works. And that's all you have to do. Promote your product and leave it again. But when you start doing what you always do, which is a thing that deterred a lot of people from watching AEW, is because AEW, every opportunity and chance they get to put WWE in their mouth, they take that opportunity. And I'm not saying this, I'm not trying to create tribalism. I get that WWE has made references and said AEW here and there. But as far as AEW, they've said it and done it more consistently than WWE over and over, as we see right here in this tweet. And if Tony Khan, is a smart businessman, which I don't think he's in that position for no reason, or he has to have some type of business acumen to be where he is. This isn't a smart business move. And the reason why is because you're advertising something that, that's happening on the rival product. Why would you do that? Now, if all your Tony Khan nights start going crazy, like, hey, Tony Khan, you're right. I can't stand that. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to go over to WWE, watch what happens in this feud to try to pick apart what's going on between Jinder Mahal and Seth Rollins so they can create YouTube videos and talk on their podcasts and things like that and try to help you out. But what the Tony Khan Knights and Tony Khan don't understand is that regardless of what you guys say, those are still eyeballs going to the other team. This is the Kim Kardashian or the Kardashian family formula, right? Watch hating still equals views. They don't take it away. So you are promoting the other team. If I am in the NBA championship and it's game seven and the other team is scoring in my hoop, I don't care. I'm going to sit back and watch. And when I get the ball, I'm going to score. It's going to make me look that much better. I'm not going to call them out. I'm going to let them shoot themselves in the foot if I feel like that that's what they're doing. So to do this, it makes no sense in the world from the business aspect. 
It don't look good for him. It makes him look very sensitive. Like, get a burner account at least, bro. Like, why are you doing this? It makes no sense at all, but I digress. I digress. Rage. Tony Khan also responded to a tweet from the USA Network where they poked fun at the fact that he looks at cage match ratings to determine his booking, <laughs> which is wild in itself. Anyways, he said this. A moral victory for USA is one win more than their world title challenger, Jim Hall, has in the past 364 Dang. days because it's Didn't been literally a full year since he's won a match. You really put AW in our place getting Jinder Mahal a big match on your TV show. Do it more often. Tony, why do you care though, bro? <laughs> Listen, guys, I'm not like one side or the other. I know I do a lot of WWE content on this channel, but I do watch some of AEW. Um, but at this point, it's like, even if it was like Triple H doing the same thing, like, why do you care what they're doing on the other product? For one, it's saying you watch it. You watch it. You like what you see, don't you? Because you keep bringing it up. But what's the point? I, I, I don't get it. I'm not gonna lie, this was extremely embarrassing. I don't know why. This yeah, man, what are you doing? Things worse. He got cooked by so many people online. This tweet, for example, reads, you worrying about the rage revolving General Hall instead of the outrage about Chris Jericho. That is the real problem. Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta, just off of that, Tony guy, you gotta kind of like stay on silent mode really quick, man. You gotta put yourself on do not disturb. We don't know much about that situation as there were only rumors, but that does seem like a more important problem to tackle on and investigate than worrying about WWE and Jinder Mahal or what your own fans have to say about Hook challenging Samoa Joe. Hey, am I the only one who felt like that? <laughs> this is what, uh, if he looked like he could be Tom Holland's older brother, Hook. Is that just me? Or, or ooh, if they do a live action of Mortal Kombat 1, he should play Reptile. The new version of Reptile. I think that'll be cool. A hook challenging Samoa Joe. This tweet talked about how his obsession with WWE is a bad look for AEW. Yeah. You're not wrong, but every time you get online and publicly display how much WWE bothers you as the owner of its rival company, you make mm -hmm. AEW look inferior by comparison every, every single, single time. time. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if they do it because they know you'll react to it. Ooh. And this tweet is They've got Suplex talking? Hey, go ch check out Suplex. Subscribe to his channel, man. He do a lot of good content when it comes to AEW. Uh, WWE, New Japan, Stardom, whatever it is. Also, check out Kicking It with Leo. He do some stuff too. They know you'll react to it. And this tweet is just begging for Tony Khan to shut e up. When you've got your own audience talking like this, it is not a good look. Tony Khan needs to really consider letting someone else manage all the social media only for promotional purposes because they can't be tweeting nonsense like this. Eric yeah. Bischoff also jumped into the mix by simply <laughs> using a clown emoji, basically calling I'm Tony bad. Khan a clown. And Khan replied with me telling him he's a miserable has-been who's got to get out of his sight. This is getting out of hand. I'm not going to lie. It's hilarious to watch it from the outside perspective. And the last reaction I want to talk about is Jinder Mahal, who replied saying, who the F is Hook? What? This was a crazy... Hold on. Was that the real Jinder Mahal? The F... How come he's not verified? Yo, what the heck? Jinder Mahal, let's get into this. Like, who is Hook, bro? Y'all having a Peter Pan match over there? That's the only hook I acknowledge, or the ones I put on my coats. But, I mean, to be honest with you, Jinder, I feel you because he caught a lot of strays. But you should go after Tony Khan and not hook. But at the same time, Jinder Mahal, you just got into this feud, man. You're not really, you're not really there in a place where you can start talking stuff. Wait until you get a little bit further into the feud and then start talking stuff. But, hey, the modern-day Maharaja has been speaking, so it is what it is. Now, here's the thing that's notable about this. He didn't say nothing about Samoa Joe. He know, <laughs> he know better than taking any shots at Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe will wrap you up, bro, and put you in the oven and bake you. Like, it, it's, Samoa Joe is a savage, bro. So he knew to leave Samoa Joe alone. I love Samoa Joe anyway. Let's continue. Is Hook. This was a crazy way to end this day. As I've said many times, Tony Khan's got to really get off Twitter. This is not a good look. It's embarrassing. The WWE isn't even going to respond to this because they don't care. Literally, Tony Khan needs exactly. to do the same and just focus on his company. With that being said, what's your opinion? What's and that's what I always tell people all the time, bro. The best revenge is not to acknowledge and not to pay attention because no one likes to be upset, to be hurt, which it seems like Tony Khan is. I mean. His Jacksonville Jaguars just got knocked out of the, you know, they not going to the playoffs. And then, you know, you got all this stuff going on. So both ends of the spectrum, he seems to be losing. And when people start to start talking stuff out of nowhere, they hurting. They hurting. So the worst thing for someone to have happen is if they're hurting and you're not paying them any attention, then that's going to double up on the hurt. So the best thing to do is not to give them any attention. Just leave them alone. You ever seen them like, uh, I don't know, them, them skits online where you see somebody crying on the ground and if you don't look at them, 
you know, they'll stay quiet. As soon as you look at them, they'll start crying again. Kind of like babies. You got to kind of do that with the competition. And WWE being quiet lets them know, like, hey, we are the superior. We don't need to acknowledge what you're saying. Regardless of how you feel, when it comes to viewership, when it comes to money and things like that, you got to acknowledge the fact that WWE is on a higher level than WWE. What am I saying? Than AEW. It is what it is at the end of the day. Again, I'm not trying to start some tribalistic things. But what I'm saying, the facts is the facts. What do you guys think about this whole situation? Thank you guys so much for watching. Salute. Peace. Have a good day.